Hey guys, this is Paul uh, from the Mitch Cloud Agency, and I decided to create this quick video about a very um, terrible problem that a lot of Magento uh, 2 customers having those days. It's just uh, spammers, bots, and uh, security troubles. So let me be uh, clear. Uh, I mean, like there is there is tons of different security patches that you have to definitely install. So probably the number one stuff that you want to go is just to go into um, majorreport.com, for example, post your URL and see what's going on with your uh, website as of today. So basically you will be able uh, to track if you're running an up-to-date version of Magento, if you're running like, up-to-date security patches and stuff like that. So let's start from that one alright if you are running with outdated version probably it makes sense for you guys just to go ahead and start updating this stuff if, if some of the issues here it's not maintaining as the green one you probably want to focus on those and fix them uh, this is number one number two aside from the security patches and all of that type of stuff they're even like a website that's already patched and uh, running on the up-to-date things are it's still possible that a lot of third party bots and spammers come into your website and eventually the way how you can recognize that as a business owner probably you can go to your um, Gento admin panel you can go to your customer section and you can see a lot of submissions like this one this one for instance or it might still be submissions from like uh, with a pretty valid uh, email addresses, but it also could be submissions with the Chinese characters, could be a Russian one, or any type of strange stuff like here. So what does it mean? It means that someone from somewhere going to your website and submitting, um, you know, forms. It's either sign up forms or it could be newsletter or it could be reviews. So aside from customers era, you can also go to the news. Uh, new newsletter and see the subscribers are uh, like I said they still might be you know appear as a legit but or uh, it might be not and one of the terrible situation what happen is those boss that are submitting like email address that actually belongs to this you know the real physical person but then when you send email confirmation this person who never even seen your website in the past they can click you know spam etc and you can get you know be you, you might be blacklisted you can also take a look into your review section to see if there are any strange stuff there so for instance like it could be any sort of content about you know porn or the agra and all of the type of stuff so you want to make sure that you are protecting from that as well or you know what what you can do in that specific case the number one stuff that you can do is just install like a, a invisible capture there are a bunch of the extensions available on the market i don't i don't want to promote like anyone else we also have uh, our extension so feel free to take a look at uh, you know different extension vendor like uh, invisible capture um, at the same time please uh, keep in mind that if you just activate your magenta default capture that would not probably protect you um, immediately so I mean that's that that's something that we learn you know from the past uh, another good idea would be just to maybe utilize uh, platform like Cloudflare, what we typically typically doing for uh, our clients. So basically, we point DNS uh, for the domain into the Cloudflare, which will operate as the CDN, as the firewall protection. Uh, and then from here, for instance, like if you're not doing any business in China or Russia, you can go ahead and block them entirely, like uh, entire country. So that way, you probably will be more safe. Um, you know, again, want to be fair enough, and uh, want to also mention about uh, another platform, Sukuri, which is also pretty much competitors of, of Cloudflare. Uh, it's also provide you firewall protection. It's also also provide you sort of CDN. Or uh, one of the extra stuff that they're doing is you, you can install like a special uh, file on your server that will be constantly monitoring what's going on. So it's kind of malware protection sort of. Um, again, most of my customers were utilizing Cloudflare because, like, uh, eventually it's kind of free. Uh, and, uh, you know, when we learn from the past, you know, if you are utilizing Sukuri, it still might happen that, you know, you will still experience sort of those type of submissions, you know. 
So basically, both Cloudflare and Sakuri would not really protect you, you know, 100% um, against those type of activities. So what we uh, what we decided and what we also, uh, you know, um, investigated, like, are we, we were working with the um, uh, the tool called Astra, getastra.com. So basically, are, there is a major difference between, you know, this company and what I just mentioned in the, you know, uh, on that video. So one of the main difference is, uh, with Get Astra, you don't have to switch your DNS, right? So you still might be able to utilize Sukuri or or Cloudflare or CloudFront if you're on Amazon AWS uh, or any other CDNs, for example. So basically, with Sukuri, what you can do is uh, they you can install like a plugin. They have a really good uh, plugin to go with Magento One, Magento Two. So that's already notes a, a lot of stuff are uh, you know about the Magento. They are doing a lot of research in terms of um, different security troubles within well-known um, Magento extensions as well. Uh, so basically, uh, what you can do is you can also even can go ahead to the Get Astra Use Website Scanner and then put your you know domain here, and they will run a good test. Um, so you see, like uh, they 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 searching for SEO spam in Japanese, etc. So one of the main different is. If you will be installing this tool on your website, it will not just, you know, it, it will it will not just tell you, hey guys, you are protected, but it's eventually give you a great amount of the content, uh, what's going on, where this account account coming from, what's the IP address of, of, of the person, what was the URL that they were trying to target, or uh, it will also give you like information about what data they, they were they, they, they eventually uh, were submitted and stuff like that. So this is a very, very nice stuff uh, that eventually will help you protect. Uh, like I said, uh, one of the main core difference was get the Astra and the rest is just because it will start blocking stuff uh, right, you know, from the backend level. So hopefully that was uh, useful and eventually I feel like um, uh, if, if you guys need any sort of uh, feedback or you have a questions or you want uh, me to just you know review your website in general etc just send us a message or request the site audit and then we'll be happy to jump on the call with you guys and in the, and, and provide you provide you some feedback um, so thank you so much for for uh, for your time um, and um, you know stay safe those days sir and uh, hopefully to hear from you soon thank you guys